In this video, we're going to take a look at this rational expression equation, and we're going to decide what rational expression belongs here in the middle, so that when I multiply it by the first one, I get this one here. All right. Well, let's consider um, our multiplication of rational expressions to begin with. How have we been doing that? Well, we usually take all the polynomials that are involved and we factor them as much as possible. And then we cancel out, you know, numerator to denominator, any factors they have in common. So let's go ahead and follow that same approach and factor everything and just see what we have. All right, so when I look at this first quadratic, it looks like this will factor as x uh, let's see, minus 6 and x plus 4. And below that, it looks like I'll have x plus 3 and x plus 4. And I have something here, I don't know yet. And then over here in the numerator, x plus 2. And then the denominator it looks like x plus 3 and x minus 1. All right. So I can see a couple of things are going to cancel out, and a couple of things might not cancel out when I have this equal sign and put the answer over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I see that the x plus 4 here and the x plus 4 here are going to cancel out. When I multiply straight across, I'm going to multiply this x minus 6 times something, and I'm going to get x plus 2. Well, that's interesting that the x minus 6 is no longer here. Okay, that means that the x minus 6 must have gotten canceled out because he was down here in the denominator. Well, what else does that mean as far as the x plus 2 is concerned? I don't see him here, so he must have been here. Okay, and finally, this x plus 3 in the denominator is still here in the denominator, so he did not cancel out. But we do have the presence of an x minus 1 now that kind of came from somewhere. So he must have been here in this rational expression. So if we looked at this now, the x minus 6 here and the x minus 6 here would have canceled, you know, because he's no longer over here in the, in the uh, product. And this x plus 2 was here and didn't get canceled. The x plus 3 was here and didn't get canceled. And the x minus 1, which is here now, wasn't over here, so he must be here. Okay? So I know now that this rational expression must have been x plus 2 on top, and then these two binomials that I can multiply together on bottom. Okay? So there's my answer to the question, what rational expression belongs here, so when I multiply these two rational expressions, I get this. So it looks like x plus 2 over x squared minus 7x plus 6.